Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this is how to play Far Away by Nickelback. All right, so the first two things about this song is it's tuned to drop D. Okay, so go ahead and do that if you need to do that. You can do that by tuning the top string and the third string down together. Okay, so they're an octave apart, low D and a high D. Okay, the second part about this tuning is that once you got into drop D, all the strings are tuned down a half step. Okay? But seeing how you probably didn't do that yet and you probably don't have your guitar tuned to uh, a half step down, I'm not doing it either. Okay, so we can just learn this in standard and then if you actually play this song the right way with a band or with some buddies, um, then you can go and tune your guitar a half step down. So let's just learn it in standard first and if you need to tune down later at a half step, that's fine, you can do so. Alright, so we'll start out with uh, just the basic chords that he's playing. The chord progression to this song, pretty much through the entire song, is C to a G to an A minor to an F. Okay, and the way we're going to do this in the beginning, the picking part, is with kind of power chords. All right, so um, this is the acoustic part of the song, so we're going to be focusing on the introduction and the picking part and um, the chord progression to the chorus. The chord progression of the chords is the same thing on acoustic as it is electric, but I'm going to give you some chords that you can play on acoustic guitar if you continue to play the song with acoustic guitar. If not, then you can play the same chord progression on the chorus when it opens up big on the electric with uh, power chords. Okay, so same chord progression either way. Alright, so we're going to start out with a C power chord. Alright, and the way we're going to play this is by starting on the fifth string, playing fret three, going down, five, five, and open. Okay, so we're just playing uh, strings five, four, three, and two. We're not playing the top string and we're not playing the bottom string. Okay, so that's the first chord we're going to make. The second chord we're going to make is we're going to take our middle finger that's available, leave our third and fourth finger down. We're going to take our middle finger and put it up on the fifth fret top string. Okay, and that's our G. Since this is tuned to drop D, this is our G. All right, so we have frets five, mute, five, five, and open on the second string, not playing the first string again. Okay, so that's our G that we're going to pick. Then we're going to pick an A minor, and this is real simple. You're just going to take your uh, middle finger off. You're not going to play the top string. Starting with the fifth string, it's going to be open, five, five, open. Again, nothing on the first. And then for the F, we're going to take our first finger that's available and bar the third fret. And we're going to play frets three on the top. Even though we have the third one pressed down on the fifth string, we're, gonna, we're not going to play it. So it's just going to be three on the top, skip. You can still play it, hold it down though. Then five, five, and three, three. All right, so, but when we pick this, we're not going to really play the first or the fifth string. Okay, but you can try playing that chord. It's really pretty. All right, so let's see a close-up of these and figure out how we're going to pick this. All right, so starting on the third fret, we have three, five, five, and open on the second string. Go ahead and pick those to make sure you got it right. Then we're going to take our available middle finger to the top, five, mute, five, five, open, then open on the fifth string, five, five, open, then bar the whole third fret, and play that chord. All right, so go ahead and make the first C chord, okay, the C power chord that we start out with. Alright, and this is going to be your picking pattern. You're going to start with the fifth string and go five, four, three, four. So, okay, then two, three, four, three. I'm going to talk about the string numbers. So five, four, three, four, two, three, four, three. Okay, so we're going to start with this C. It's actually a C major seven, and we're going to just play that picking pattern, 5, 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, and you can pick it any way you want to. You can pick it all downs or alternate your picking. Um, you don't have to get too picky on that. But uh, So we'll start with a C, do that picking pattern once, then move to the G with your available middle finger to the top fret, uh, top string fifth fret, and we're going to pick the same thing. The only thing that changes is the root note or the first note that we picked. So instead of picking the fifth string now, we're going to pick the, the sixth string to start with. But the picking pattern changes, stays the same. All right. Now we're going to move to the A minor, and we're going to pick it just like we did the first chord. Okay, with that 
that open fifth string. Then we're going to bar that third fret. Okay, and we're back to starting on the top string again when we do the picking pattern. And so it sounds like some of the notes change, but the only thing that changes is our bar. So we're playing a top third fret and a third fret on the second string, and that's what makes that difference in the uh, sounds. Okay, so let's put the whole thing together, just doing the picking pattern once on each chord change. Alright, so that's the uh, intro of the song and the verses. Alright, so we pretty much have the same chord progression on the course, but let's talk about the uh, pre-chorus first. We're going to go to a D. Alright, in this D, I'm just playing 0, 0, 0, 2, 3. Okay, so the pre-chorus. We're going to change to an F suspended 2. And you can play this by muting out the top, or playing the third fret on the top, but you might not have enough fingers to do that. Um, mute out the top and play 3-3, three, three, open, 1-1. One, one. So an F suspended 2. So you have the, uh, the verse, blah, blah, blah. Then you go to that D. F suspended 2. Then to the chorus. Alright, so the chord progression is still C, G, A minor, and F, or F suspended to A minor 7. Um, but we're going to voice these chords a little bit different for the acoustic guitar. Alright, so the way I'm playing the C major is you can play just a normal standard C major out of a beginner guitar book if you want to, which is mute the top, 3, 2, 0, 1. Or you can take that 2 off of the, uh, the fourth string and just play mute, 3, mute, 0, 1. So it's a very simple C chord. Okay, so you can take the same position that you feel with your third finger up high and your finger down, your first finger down low, and move it to a G. The way we're going to play this G is different because we're in the key of drop or key of D, but with the drop D tuning. We're going to play the fifth fret on top, mute the next one, play open, open, and three mute. So we have a G. Alright, then we have an A minor 7, mute out the top, play open, 2, open, 1, mute, then back to that F suspended 2 chord. So the first time you play the chorus through, everything gets 4 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and the second two times through the chorus, each chord change gets only two beats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then back to the verse.